We all love a good success story, a tale of triumph against all odds. But behind every victory dances a leader who stared risk in the face and didn't blink. Like a seasoned poker player, they assessed the stakes, calculated their moves, and played their hands strategically. Because let's face it, in the game of business, standing still is a surefire way to lose. Risk is inherent in every facet of business, from launching a new product to navigating economic downturns. It's the spice that keeps things interesting, the engine that drives innovation. But unmanaged risk? That's a recipe for disaster, a one-way ticket to Heartbreak Hotel. Effective leaders don't shy away from risk, they embrace it. They understand that calculated risks are the stepping stones to progress, the price of admission to the big leagues. They also know that burying their heads in the sand, hoping risk will magically disappear, is about as effective as a screen door on a submarine. This is where risk management steps in, a leader's trusty compass and map in the unpredictable wilderness of the business world. It's about identifying potential pitfalls, assessing their impact and having a plan to navigate around them. It's about turning potential threats into strategic advantages, transforming oh no into bring it on. Imagine trying to navigate a maze blindfolded. That's what managing risk without proper analysis feels like, a recipe for disaster. Before you even think about mitigating risks, you need to know what you're dealing with. This is where organizational risk analysis comes into play. The first step is identifying potential risks. This requires a 360 degree view of your organization, considering everything from economic downturns and natural disasters to cybersecurity threats and regulatory changes. Think of it as a brainstorming session where no idea is too crazy because sometimes the most unexpected events can pack the biggest punch. Once you've identified potential risks, it's time to assess their potential impact and likelihood. This involves asking tough questions. How likely is this risk to occur? If it does, what's the potential fallout? This isn't about scaring yourself silly. It's about being realistic and prioritizing your risk mitigation efforts. Finally, you need to document everything. This isn't just about ticking boxes for compliance. It's about creating a living, breathing risk register that your team can refer to and update regularly. This document becomes your organization's risk management playbook, a guide to navigating the unpredictable. Now that we've tackled the big picture, let's zoom in on individual projects. Just like organizations, every project from launching a new marketing campaign to developing a cutting edge product comes with its own set of risks. Project level risk assessment follows a similar process to organizational risk analysis, but with a laser focus on the specific tasks, timelines and resources involved. It's about identifying potential roadblocks that could derail your project and having contingency plans in place. Think of it like planning a road trip. You wouldn't hit the road without first mapping out your route, considering potential traffic jams and packing a spare tire, would you? The same principle applies to project management. Identifying potential risks like scope creep, resource shortages, or unforeseen technical difficulties is crucial to staying on track and avoiding costly delays. Once you've identified potential project risks, prioritize them based on their potential impact and likelihood. This helps you focus your efforts on mitigating the risks that pose the greatest threat to your project's success. Remember, it's all about working smarter, not harder. Section four, dodging bullets, tools, and tactics for risk mitigation. Identifying risks is only half the battle. The real test lies in mitigating them effectively. Luckily, a treasure chest of tools and tactics can help leaders navigate these treacherous waters. One effective approach is risk avoidance. This involves making strategic decisions to completely steer clear of certain risks. For example, if expanding into a new market presents unacceptable risks, you might choose to focus on strengthening your presence in existing markets instead. Then there's risk reduction which involves implementing measures to minimize the likelihood or impact of a risk. Think of it as putting on your seatbelt before a car ride. It won't prevent accidents, but it significantly reduces the potential for serious injury. 
Another powerful tool is risk transfer. This involves shifting the responsibility for a particular risk to a third party, like insurance. It's like passing the hot potato. You're still aware of the risk, but you're no longer holding on to it directly. Finally, there's risk acceptance. Sometimes the most strategic approach is to simply acknowledge a risk and accept its potential consequences. This is often the case with low impact, low likelihood risks where the cost of mitigation outweighs the potential benefits. Section five, your crew can make or break you. Stakeholder engagement in risk management. Even with the best tools and strategies, risk management is a team sport. It requires clear communication, collaboration, and buy-in from all stakeholders involved. Stakeholders are anyone who has a vested interest in your organization or project, from employees and investors to customers and suppliers. Engaging them effectively in the risk management process is crucial for several reasons. First, stakeholders possess valuable insights and perspectives that can help identify and assess risks more comprehensively. They're the ones on the ground, seeing things from different angles, and their input can be invaluable in developing effective mitigation strategies. Second, stakeholder engagement fosters a sense of ownership and accountability. When stakeholders feel heard and involved, they're more likely to support and adhere to risk management policies and procedures. Finally, effective stakeholder engagement can enhance your organization's reputation and build trust. Transparency about potential risks and your plans to address them demonstrates responsibility and builds confidence among stakeholders.